What is film editing? What is film editing? Well, let me tell you. Film editing, or as it is sometimes referred to, the invisible art, is where you take raw footage, footage that hasn't been altered in any way, shape, or form, and select specific shots that you want to put into a sequence to convey a message or story that you want to show your audience. The discovery of film editing. Before editing was discovered, there was only film. Simply placing down a camera on one spot and filming whatever happened to take place in the frame until the film ran out. The first filming device was created in 1879 by a man called Edward Moybridge. This device was called a zoopraxiscope. A zoopraxiscope was a device which projected images from a rotating glass disc in rapid succession, giving the viewer the impression of motion. George Miles. George Miles was a French filmmaker who discovered the jump cut effect. When he was filming in Paris in 1896, when he was shooting a bus coming out of a tunnel, his camera jammed in the middle of the take. When he got the camera working again, the bus was gone, and in its place was a hearse. After developing the film, he discovered the wonderful and magical thing of seeing the bus transformed into a hearse right there on the screen. George Miles used this in his films to make people disappear and reappear at will. Miles also discovered the fade-in and fade-out effect, overlapping dissolves, and stop-motion photography. Edwin S. Porter Edwin S. Porter was a fan of the films George Miles made. Porter tried to immaculate the trick of photography which Miles had introduced to the world and had proved incredibly successful in films such as The Finish of Bridget McKean, made in 1901, in one of Porter's most famous films, The Great Train Robbery, he used cross-cutting, also known as parallel editing. He did not use it to its full potential, but paved the way for others to expand on this technique. D.W. Griffith Following on from Porter's work, Griffith further developed the concept of cross-cutting by using a variety of different camera angles and distances. He also pushed those techniques forward to unprecedented levels of complexity and depth. Lev Kulshov. The Kulshov effect goes back as far as the 1910s, when Lev Kulshov, a Russian filmmaker who edited together three various shots of a plate of soup, a girl in a coffin, and a woman on a divan, and overlaid them onto the expressional face of Ivan Moshkin. This film was then shown to an audience who thought that the expression of Ivan's face was different each time he appeared, depending on whether he was looking at the plate of soup, the girl in the coffin, or the woman on the divan, showing an expression of hunger, grief or desire respectively by linking two shots together create meaning rather than what is being filmed. Most early montage films included still pictures, sepia tone, slow paced editing, orchestral music and no dialogue. An example of this would be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, directed by George Roy Hill in 1969. Sergei Einstein. Sergei Einstein, like Lev Kulshov, was a Russian filmmaker who developed the works of both Lev Kulshov and D.W. Griffith by creating powerful montages that manipulated the views and emotions of the audience. La Nouvelle Vue. La Nouvelle Vue, or in English, The New Wave, were a group of French directors who took the rules that had been clearly established and enforced through classical Hollywood and broke them all by creating fresh new editing styles and techniques, such as the jump cut and breaking the 180 degree rule. Linear editing. Linear editing is a post-production technique, where you look at the footage from one reel and make a cut where you want that shot to change to another shot. You then take the footage you have cut from reel 1 and paste it onto reel 2, where you want the footage to continue from. You would have to continue this process depending on the amount of cuts you want to make. The Moviola. The Moviola was the standard machine for linear editing in the United States that allowed the editor to view the film while editing. The Moviola is still in existence today, but is less used since the release of the flatbed editor. This device allows for linear editing. The flatbed editor. The flatbed editor was the successor to the Moviola, with the feature of being able to separate sound and picture onto two different discs, also known as plates. This allows the editor to run the sound or picture separately or lock them in together so they can run side by side. Nonlinear editing. 
Non-linear editing is a post-production technique that allows you to have complete control over what footage you edit, regardless of its position in the sequence clip. With the freedom to access any frame and use a cut and paste method, similar to what you might do when cutting and pasting text in a Word document, and allows you to easily include fades, transitions, and other effects that cannot be done with linear editing. The Ampex VTR Video Tape Recorder the Ampex VTR, or known as the Ampex Video Tape Recorder, is a non-linear editing device that was released in 1956 that allowed people to record television programs and edit the footage using magnetic tape for placing early film to TV tele scenes. The Edit Droid. In 1984, Lucasfilm created the Edit Droid. The Edit Droid is a computer workstation that uses multiple analog laser discs to enable random access editing. Digital devices such as the Edit Droid and the Ampex VTR and the Ampex Electronic Editor allow the editor to have full creative control over their editing, compared to the early days of editing when you only had the Moviola, which allowed you to view the film footage, but if you wanted to make a cut, you would lose everything after that cut. But with non-linear editing devices, you are able to piece together a sequence of footage and if you are not happy with how the footage is shown at any point, you are able to go back and change the footage and alter the sequence of how it is shown. The digital editors of today, such as Avid, Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere, allow for advanced technical editing on a vast variety of platforms.